Welcome to Lavanya's computer class. In this uh, session, I will explain what are the important questions uh, for data structures according to JNTUH syllabus. So, this is the syllabus paper. We have totally 5 units, unit 1, unit 2, unit 3, unit 4 and unit 5. 5 unit syllabus we have. In the unit 1, they are totally introduction to data structures. In this, they totally uh, explain about what is abstract data type linear list and uh, stacks and queues only stacks and queues they are explained so in this unit one according to because now we have covid pattern so we just learn any three units because out of eight questions have to write any five questions so unit one is totally introduction to data structures in this the main concept is uh, stacks and uh, queues and then linear list in the linear list, we have go for single linked list, uh, linked list explanation. So, in the first unit, we concentrate only on stacks, queues, and linked list. If we coming to unit two, unit two is divided into two chapters. One is the dictionaries, and second one is hash table representation. Hash table representation is very very important. So, in the unit two, other in the unit two skip list is also this skip list is almost all similar to linear list. So, uh, we are most concentrate in unit 2 is hash table representation. The next, uh, after, uh, in the next uh, coming uh, video, in coming session, I will explain what are the important questions in this also. So, next in the unit 3, the unit 3 have only one chapter is there that is search trees. In the search trees, the most important is binary search tree, AVL, this very, very important, AVL trees and binary search trees. Next in the unit 4, there are two are there, one is the graphs and second one is the sortings. Graph, graph traversal method, graph traversal method is very important and sorting also. In the sorting only external sorting. External sorting means is a merge sort and a heap sort is once again that is the important concept. What is heap types of heaps and heap sort. Then unit 5. In the unit 5, pattern matching algorithms and tries. There are three types of tries are there, standard tries, compressed tries, suffix tries. Different types of tries are go for pattern matching algorithm, three different uh, pattern matching algorithms are there, brute force, boyer moro KMP algorithms. According to like this, we have to read your uh, data structures paper. So, in this, uh, if we come going to hash table, unit 2, hash table representation is very, very important concept. In this hash table representation, I will now note down the questions also. I will explain important questions in uh, data structures according to JNTH syllabus. So, unit 1 contains uh, three topics. One is the linked list, stacks, queues. So, if we want to read unit 1, we have to concentrate on uh, these 3 chapters, 3 topics. One is the linked list, stacks and queues. So, first we go for uh, all the 3 topics in implementations. Linked list implementation is important. Linked list implementation, that means so write a program, how to create, what are the operations of linked list. Similarly, stack stacks implementation stacks implementation using arrays and using linked list and the third one is queues queues implementation write a program to perform the operations on the queues so in unit 1 we have to write all this you have to learn these three programs so, Linked list implementation, stack implementation and queues implementation also. After that uh, three questions like uh, what are the operations performed on the st stacks? What are the operations what are the operations are performed performed on stacks? explanation or otherwise explain about uh, stacks. So, what are the operations performed on the stacks means so we have to write uh, insert operation, deletion, creation and uh, 
uh, what is E is overflow, E is underflow, everything we have to explain. So, what are the operations on the stacks? Similarly, what are the operations on the queues? What are the operations performed on the queues? Fifth one, what are the operations performed on the queues? What are the operations performed on queues? Sixth question, what is linked list? What is linked list? Types of linked list. Types of linked list. Seventh one. Operations performed on the linked list. Operations performed on linked list. Eighth question. Applications. Applications of queues. Applications of stacks. Applications of stacks important. Next nine one is types of queues. Types of queues. So these are the important questions in first unit. So what are the unit one questions means? First one you have to write the three topics implementations. Linked list implementation that means so how to write write a program to implement a linked list representation or write a program to all operations on stacks, write a program to operations on queues. After the theory questions, theory questions also what are the operations performed on the stacks, what are the operations performed on the queues and what is a linked list, types of linked list. Types of linked list means a single linked list, double linked list, circular linked list. After that operations performed on linked list. In this operations performed on linked list, you have to write insertion operation, deletion operation, searching also. That is also um, insertions at the beginning, insertion in the middle, insertion at the end. You have to represent all the three cases. For deletion also same thing. If you want to delete any node in the linked list, deletion in the middle, deletion in the end, deletion at the middle. That is also compulsory you have to write. After that applications of stacks. Then we have right uh, read types of queues also. Types of queues means priority queue, double ended queue, D queue. In unit 2, now we will explain what are the important questions in unit 2. In the unit 2, there are three types of topics are there. One is a skip list, hash table representation and also dictionaries. But in these all these things, hash table is very important. So first we will go for just some important questions. First question is what are the operations performed on the skip list? So what are the operations performed in the skip list means you have to write insertion, deletion as well as searching also. How can you insert the elements in the skip list? How can you delete the elements in the skip list and searching also? After that very important concept, most concentrator hash functions in the unit to explain what are the various hash function techniques. That is very very important technique that is division method, mid square method, um, folding methods, those are the various hash function techniques. Then third question is explain different hash collision resolution techniques with examples. Each and everything you have to explain with examples, different hash collision resolution techniques, linear probing, mm, quadratic probing. So the, those are the methods are there, we have to write it everything, double hashing. So separate chaining method, open addressing, everything you have to explain in this, so hash collision resolution techniques. Then they are separately asking what is the rehashing and extensible hashing. These are the different hashing functions. What is rehashing and what is extensible hashing. And with mostly rarely they are asking explain about dictionaries. So otherwise what are the operations performed on the dictionaries also. So these five questions are important in unit 2 according to JNTUH syllabus. Now I am explaining unit 3 important questions. In the unit 3, there are uh, 3 different topics are available, 2 different topics. One is the search tree, AVL trees, red black trees and splice trees also there, but very important questions are search trees and AVL trees. 
So first question is what is binary search tree? Explain the properties of binary search tree. That means when we call which tree is called as a binary search tree. So for construction of binary search tree what is the properties you have to perform. So that is explained in the first question. Total explanation about binary search tree. So what is binary search tree? Explain the properties of binary search tree with an example. That means they are giving any numerical examples. So how to construct uh, using that elements how to construct a binary search tree. Then second question that is the one question for binary search tree. Then second question is what are the operations performed on BST. So what are the operations performed on BST means uh, how to insert and searching search an element in a BST and how can you delete the element in the BST. Then in the deletion you have to explain deletion with one node, deletion with two nodes and deletion of a root node. So that compulsive explain all the deletion operations. So these are the important questions on BST. Next point important is AVL tree. So what is AVL tree? Explain height of an AVL tree. How to calculate height of an AVL tree? It is important question. Next one is operations performed on AVL tree. So what are the operations performed means? Insertion operation, deletion operations on AVL tree. That is also a side type question important. If you are concentrate more on binary search tree and AVL tree, enough. Otherwise, sometimes they are asking about red black trees. Explain about red black trees. What is the properties of red black tree? How to construct a red black tree? Everything you have to explain. Very rarely they are asking what is splay tree? Explain with an example. So these all are the six questions are important in unit tree. So what is binary search tree? What are the operations performed on binary search tree? AVL tree and operations on AVL tree and height of an AVL tree, properties of red black tree, construction of red black tree, then splay trees. In unit tree, we have to redo tree traversal methods also in order, pre order, and post order. Unit 4, I will explain important questions on unit 4. In the unit 4, two topics are there one is the graphs, and second one is the sorting. So, first we concentrate on the graphs. With the easy topics, these are the these are the very easy topics. So prepare well for this unit also. So what is graph and types of graphs? First we just write the definition of graph and what are the types of graphs. Then what are the graph traversal techniques? Very very important question. This is explain about graph traversal methods, BFS and DFS. Then one thing is difference between BFS and DFS. So it is very SI type question, very important question. The next chapter is what is sorting, explain different types of sorting techniques. What are the different types of sorting techniques means uh, internal sorting, external sorting. Next in this very important question what is heap, types of heaps. What is heap, types of heaps, max heap, min heap, explain with everything with numerical example. Then SI type question, important question, heap sort. What is heap sort? Take some numerical values and explain with the numerical example how can you construct a heap sort. Next one is what is external sorting? Explain merge sort because merge sort explain external sorting, explain merge sort with example. Then, then last one is implementation of merge sort that means program how to write here how to implement merge sort program. So these are the important questions in unit 4 graphs, sortings, heap sort then merge sort. These are the important questions in unit 5. Unit 5 are divided into two categories. One is the tries and second one is the pattern matching algorithm. In pattern matching algorithm we have three different types of pattern matching algorithms are there. One is the brute force, boyer Moore and KMP. Read any two algorithms mostly concentrate on KMP and boyer Moore and two different types of tries. Standard try, compressor try and uh, suffix try and explain all these things with algorithms. So different types of tries and algorithms of these tries. So these are the important questions in data structures. I think uh, this video is very useful to all the students. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and like it and share it.